investigation has now been turned over to the Linn County District Attorney's Office for review. 27-year-old Michael Bryson has been missing for more than two months now, and the search is still very active. And now a Eugene woman is using her podcast to try and help. Yeah, and as KZI 9 News reporter Connor McCarthy shows us, nowhere to be found is trying to find someone out there who may know where Michael is. Seven weeks ago was the first time I had ever heard the name Michael Bryson. From the cramped closet in her bedroom. I gathered information on Michael and his friends and family, and I started forming my own opinions and theories. Amanda Papanu started nowhere to be found. It was really captivating to me, first on like the true crime podcast, like I like a good mystery, and that was captivating. But then, like kind of the more I got to know the Brysons and everybody involved, like it captivated me in a different way where it's like I really feel connected to them. She says this podcast is a way to bring focus to Michael Bryson's disappearance from Hobo Camp Campground. We're all looking at, you know, our own perspective. So if you're looking out your front window of a cul-de-sac, you can see in front of you, but you can't see to the side on either side. But if we get all the people to come together and give their accounts, now we have a full view. Papa News says the podcast has been downloaded over 5,000 times. To download the podcast, it's pretty easy. Papano says that you can find this podcast anywhere that you get your podcasts. If you have an iPhone, for example, all you have to do is open up the podcast app, search Nowhere to be Found, and you'll find the first three episodes. Honestly, I was a, I was a little hesitant at first. Michael's father, Parrish Bryson, wasn't too keen on the podcast at first. After visiting with her and realizing that there was a, a connection with, with her and I, um, from UPS, I felt a little more at ease, and then she also explained why she was doing it and what she was trying to, to accomplish. Nowhere to be found lets people listen to first-hand accounts of the night Bryson went missing. It's heartbreaking. Like, I have a little boy, and it's, it's unimaginable. Like, that you could go, I mean, it's been, what, 65 days now, and they haven't found out where their boy is. The reward to find Bryson is still at $10,000, and the Lane County Sheriff's Office is investigating every lead. We've had some pretty good leads. Um, we've had a couple that, you know, that turn up nothing, but um, you're not going to not go after a lead. I mean, there'll be no stone left unturned until my son comes home. Reporting in Eugene, Connor McCarthy, KZI 9 News.